Hello, my name is Michelle Stapira Freyhoff. I am a perma blogger for the Feminism and Religion blog that can be found at www.feminismandreligionblog.com. In this blog, we hope to explore the F word in religion and the intersection between scholarship, activism, and community, and essentially reclaim or claim the full humanity of women cross-culturally that has been compromised to the patriarchal society which we live and especially worship in. While we may be of many faiths, we are women that belong together trying to build and reclaim our place in this world and to be a voice that might not otherwise have a voice in this world, a voice for the voiceless, if you will. Rosemary Radford Ruther once wrote especially in the introduction to the to our blog itself that you know we've hardly begun in our strive to close the gap of feminism because we have such a deep entrenchment of patriarchy um, and male domination that still exists in our world today women have made great strides and accomplishments and it is important to understand that feminism is not an exclusively a female club but also a club that male members belong to because they do recognize the dichotomy that exists between male and female that still exists in the world today. The feminist movement is still quite young. It's really only about a hundred years old. And so we need to come together to kind of remove that gap and hopefully in the process remove the stigma of the so-called F-word feminism. Carol Christ, in one of her articles, recited a prayer that's rather reaffirming, but shows how we, as feminists, are connected to one another. And I think that it's appropriate to kind of close on that measure. People have called me an idealist. I hold on to idealistic tendencies that, yes, women and men will someday have equal standing in this world and also have equal standing in, scholar, in the world of scholarship, that this boys club, the so-called boys clubs, will no longer exist and the women have come together and formed a community that will help make our name known, make our voice known, and squash this club from existence and work not against each other, but with each other. So essentially I would like to conclude with Carol's prayer. I am here because of the feminist foremothers. I am Michelle, I am daughter of Beverly, daughter of Mildred, daughter of Orda, daughter of Hattie, and daughter of a long line of women whose names I may not know that I have not met, but who have made an impact in this world going back to the cradle of civilization. I am Michelle who is also daughter of Matilda Joslyn Gage, daughter of Elizabeth Katie Stanton, Susan Anthony, daughter of Mary Daly, daughter of Rosemary Redford Ruther, daughter of Mary Johnson, Sandra Schneiders, Joan Chichester. I am also daughter of Elizabeth Schusler Frianza, Carol Meyer, Amy Jill Levine, Adela Yarborough Collins, and Carol Christ, and so many other women whose scholarship have come before me, who have impacted my journey, my vocation to be a scholar, in this field as well. I'm also indebted to mentors like Sheila McGinn and Natalie Curtis Weaver. I'm indebted also to the sisters that I now have met and work with in scholarship, not only on this blog, but academically through collaboration. These women are Gina Messina Dysert, Cynthia Garrity Bond, Chatel Alviso, Caroline Klein, Grace Mia Haikau, Amy Levine, Sarah Freikenberg, and Stacia Gizzo, and so many other guest publishers that have attributed, contributed their work to this blog to support our cause in closing the gap between matriarchy and, and patriarchy uh, and to help build community within our different disciplines. The support is necessary for our foremothers to give to us, their children per se, in terms of pulling forward
forth that message, continuing that message, continuing that work, and continuing to make a difference. We look to them for their work and laying the groundwork, but we still also look to them for their support, for their guidance, for their encouragement, for their stories, and for their mentorship. And it's something that I have found with my own mentors and what I am truly grateful for. For all of these women, named and unnamed, who have been forgotten or that I've yet to meet, that I've yet to encounter, that have maybe read my work, even criticized my work, who have given me pointers to improve me as a scholar, as a writer, to help pull that together and call that community is something that I think that this blog is all about and is so very, very vital and important. So together I'm hoping that you will come out and you will support us. You will contribute to us. You will write to us. You will read to us. And you will help us eliminate that stigma that belongs with the F word and make feminism a word that is essentially a friendly word, a word that holds credibility, a word that supports work that reclaims women's voice as much as men's voice exists in this society. For all of these women, these mentors, these friends, these readers, these supporters, for all of you, I am truly grateful and hope to hear from you in one way, shape, or another as we continue our work on this blog, in our own writings, and in our own journeys and vocations. Thank you.